Hello and welcome to the exotic Sepang circuit, where a new Moto2 class race is about to start. The weather forecasts are very reassuring. We will have sunny weather for the entire duration of the race. Here we are live from the Moto2 class starting grid, where riders and engineers are talking over the last few details before the race. Hello and welcome to the video and today as you can see we're on MotoGP18 once again for another Moto2 2019 mod video. Obviously um, we are at Sepang and we are playing as uh, Pratama today. That is uh, what's been requested so thought I'd give you what you asked for. Um, yeah so it should be probably another MotoGP video, probably won't do another Moto3 one. And then it'll probably just be Moto uh, GP videos unless I'll just do the odd one off Moto2 or Moto3 video. Obviously, I only really did this one because it was requested, and I think the track was also requested, but I could be mistaken. I seem to remember somebody commented something about Malaysia, but uh, but uh, I couldn't find the comment anywhere. So yeah, obviously uh, we have all of the numbers up to date now, which is uh, nice for the Moto Two category. Obviously, it was the same for the Belega video as well. You can see the uh, number 20 looking, well, probably one of the better numbers, in my opinion. Better in terms of what I've made, I mean, not like in terms of its design itself. It does look very much like the real life one. So, 9 km an hour, tr like wind in northeast direction, apparently. See, I, I don't actually know if that's just something the game displays or if that actually affects the gameplay, because it never feels like there's any like extra wind, ever. But I could be wrong, but it doesn't seem like it really affects gameplay. We seem to have uh, dropped off the back of the AI on this warm-up lap. Usually, your AI will cut through and pass quite a few people. I think in the last video there was even a crash on the uh, warm-up lap, but... Uh, at the minute, we're just sitting down in the last position still. But I suppose it's a strategy. <laughs> you could keep everybody else on the grid waiting, cool their tyres down, and get a good start, but no. Bit of a screen freeze there. Uh, Barstone do sort of need to fix that. I mean, it's not my PC, because it's very easy to just go, oh, it's your PC. Um, it's not, though. It's obviously, you can see it's running 60 whenever it's not screen freezing, so we don't start struggling to run the game. So yeah, hopefully Milestone will fix that for MotoGP19. And I hope it's also fixed for Ride 3. So I'll probably be getting Ride 3 on my PC. I know it's already out, but I uh, haven't got it yet. I know, what a scrub. It's really weird to see Tom Looty back in the Moto 2 category, but I guess that's where he's going to be for the foreseeable future, probably. The Sepang track is ready to welcome this latest edition of the Malaysian Grand Prix. Just a few moments to go until the riders battle away on track. Yes, just a few moments to go. We've got the clutch pulled in. The lights are on already. That was pretty quick. The lights come away for the lights to go out. Lights out. Away we go. Dump the clutch. Straight to second gear after the wheels come up once. So we've already passed Joe Roberts off the line. We're trying to get this extreme of Stefan and Manzi. So we've come flying down towards turn one. There's Nicola Belega on the left hand side. Come up the inside a little bit. The inside of Luti, up the inside of Manzi, up the inside of... Oh, a bit of massive screen freeze there, so we're really excited of Agatha and now our teammate and it's another screen freeze. I think that's because there's some contact. Oh, Brad Binder's gone down with Laquona and I think that was also Locatelli in there. We're going around the outside of us. Bo Ben Schneider, we're going around the outside of Marini now. Can we do it? We're past Marini, past Corsi. Going around the outside of Philip Earl. Up into 12th position already for Pratama there. It's a pretty good start. Or is it Eki Pratama, would you say? I'm not actually sure if Eki's his middle name or part of his last name. Uh, it's obviously a bit of a battle going up ahead with Remy Gardner and Jorge Navarro. We're going to try and get through them if we can. They've left a little bit of a gap. We're going between the middle of them. We're past Navarro, flicking over to the right hand side on the other side of Gardner. So we're past both of them now. See Digi Antonio and Sam Lowe's up ahead now. We're going to get the other side of both of them on the brakes into this corner. So we're up into eighth position already. We're now behind Marcel Schrotter. Obviously, you can see Bezeki in front of him. That's obviously also Vierge. Battling up ahead with Martin. 
then Marquez trying to defend, uh, take the lead from Lorenzo Badassari. I think he's just done it. We're now all over the back of Marcel Schrotter after that hairpin. Oh, he's had a Schrotter. Got him. Done. And we're going to get Lisa Lepizeki for sixth place as well. Uh, on the throttle nice and early. Can we do it? We're almost side by side with him, but not quite. We're a little bit too far behind. Are we going to have attack his left hand on the side of Pizeki? It's talking so fast, but it sounds like nonsense. But we're going to try and get the inside of Martin here. don't think it's really possible. But we're going for it anyway. A little bit of contact with Martin, but uh, we've, we've sat him up. We've got through. So we're now behind Vierge. So we're up to fifth place already. He's been pretty strong first lap in the stream of Vierge. Go down towards the last corner. The corner of the AI are very strong out. You can see up the inside goes Martin and Pizeki. So I've had to open the door a little bit to allow them both to go through. That's allowed Schrotter to get back through. Trying to get the, up the inside for the, the cutback. We'll pass Schrotter once again. But we don't really have the power to outtrack Martin, even though we tried to get a cutback. In fact, Schrotter's trying to get back through again, but he couldn't quite do it. And this is and Bezeki. Early on the brakes, we didn't get to him. Oh, oh Schrotter's hit us, Schrotter's hit us, and we got straight on into the Vieja. Because we've been hit by Schrotter. So Schrotter's managed to screw over his ex teammate and the rookie. But we've passed Vieja now. Vieja's going to get back at the inside. Vieja is back in front of us once again now. But pretty insane stuff there. Around the outside of Vieja. But uh, Schrotter got caught out by us breaking a bit early because we didn't want to get involved in any accidents into that first corner. And I was, you know, I was jumped straight back onto my too. I wasn't feeling confident with the front end. So I jumped on the brakes a bit early. That's just caught him out. And he completely hit us there. But uh, luckily we stayed on. So did Vieja, but it just cost us a bit of time. But we're now trying to get find a way around Marco Bezecchi once again. You see, he's sort of all over the place, to be fair. So are we trying to go around and we're on the outside. Are we actually going to make that work? No, we're not. In fact, no, yes, we are. We used the curb to sort of get turned a little bit more. We've passed him now. So uh, definitely abusing some interesting physics there from Milestone. Baldessari trying to pass... Oh, it's... Tr oh, so he just passed three people there, Baldessari. No, he couldn't quite get it done. Thought he was going to pass all three of them there, but Bastianini's managed to profit from that. Up into first position. Obviously, Marquez second and Martin third. Bad, sorry, not actually managing to gain any of the positions in the end, but it looked like he's going to pass all three of them. We've got to decide about sorry now, but couldn't quite make it work. Still not really confident with the brakes on this bike, which does take a while to get used to a motor too. They're very strange motorcycles to ride, but we're all the inside of Bad, sorry there, a little bit of contact. But we're quite lucky we didn't fall off there. He's getting us upstream, but now he, uh, I think as we moved over a little bit, he sort of backed out so we didn't hit our rear tyre. Chantra Trasbulega, but we can hear those Hondas scream because I haven't got the Triumph sound onto the bikes yet. You can see Baldassari has now got position back. We've run a bit wide on the curve. Trying to get the sit street of Baldassari. You can hear Bezeki also trying to get past us as well. Martin goes about half a second quicker than me, so, you know, eight tenths of a second quicker even. That's a pretty uh, pretty big gap. We're going inside of. Oh, nearly hitting Bassinini. We're going inside of Baldassari. We had to sit the bike up there so that we didn't hit Bastianini, but now we've shoved Baldessari out of the way. We're not sitting behind him any longer. So yeah, I went for a bit of a, a dive bomb. And just unfortunately, Bastianini was where I needed to put my bike, so I had to sit up and just run on. But uh, now we are right behind Bastianini. We're going for attack into turn four. We're going to get the move done. We're hitting the apex. We've ran quite wide. Is he going to get us back? Almost. A bit of contact there, but we've got past him. Obviously, the contact probably wasn't my fault for once. It was actually him coming over onto my line. And obviously the uh, Schrotter contact earlier wasn't my fault either. So uh, Marquez is now trying to sign. Well, in fact, I think Martin's past Marquez. So Marquez is probably just trying to stay with Martin. But we got at the inside. It's a bit of a late move. Are we going to get it done? Yes, we are. So we've done it through the second half of that corner. We're right behind Martin now. Are we going to have an attack? I don't know why I said Martin like that. So it's so weird. We got at the inside of Martin into the hairpin. Are we going to do it? We have to love the brakes. Bit of contact there. So we're Race full of contact so far, but we are now up into the lead as Pratama. But we are running through time. Oh, we've been smashed out of the way by Martin. Martin's not having any of that. We went on the we got put on a bit of a compromised line, so we couldn't do it, but now we're at the side of Martin once again. Go for a bit of a lunge, but are we gonna be able to get a stop now? We're running all over the curb. That's put us on another weird line through turn 13. That's gonna surely allow Martin to get back up the inside. Martin's up the inside, Marquez is up the inside. We're on the throttle nice early, so we've got rid of Marquez. We're in the stream of Martin now as we fly down towards the last corner of the Grand Prix. It's all coming down to this and then the run out of this corner. We're in the stream of Martin and we're going to have an attack into the last corner. Go to the outside but flick it to the inside. Nothing is on Martin. Trying to get the bike stopped on the apex. Can't quite do his caught the inside. I think he might do it early. Got to throw all the rear kicks out. 
Martin's got the exit, we've got the slipstream, but Martin's going to win the race. It's unfortunate to lose like that. Uh, yeah, it's pretty unfortunate to lose like that, but uh, this is how the cookie crumbles. But we ended up two tenths behind Martin in the end, so not too bad of a finish. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.